So at the end of the previous video, we had created our call to action component and our header component in Advanced Custom Fields Pro and in our Nuxt 3 project. Now, what happens if we want to have multiple versions of a component? So we might have this call to action and then we might want to have the option to, so this one, we might want to have the option to make it look like this one, for example. The reason I'm using this one is because it's got the same uh, elements to it. So what if we want to switch those layouts? Now we could just make a completely new uh, advanced custom field uh, and a new component, but the problem with that is every time we want to use it, we would have to add it to add a new field in our page. So we'd have, we could have, we might, for example, have this call to action. We could also have, add another row with our call to action in version two, which would be here. But there's an easier way. What we can do is we can add an option to our advanced custom field. So let's just go to our flexible field and go to our call to action. So let's go to this call to action here and we can just add another field and we'll call it option and we'll made it a, make it a radio button. So radio button, we'll call it option. You can call it whatever you like, but it makes sense to call it option. And then we can have version one, version two, version three, as many as we want basically, but we'll just do one and two. So do one space colon one. It's important that you put the space there, otherwise it won't work. And then two, two. Let's just call that version one, version two. So save that. So at the moment, that's not actually gonna do anything, but we will go back to our page and we'll be able to see that we have those options there now. So let's have a quick look when it loads. Call to action. Let's just get rid of that. And then we've got this here, version one, version two. So for now, let's leave it as version one. We'll update it. And we're just gonna go back to our Nuxt project and we're gonna make a couple of changes. So first things first, <coughs> excuse me. We're gonna need to have two call to action components. So we'll just make a little folder here and just call it CTA. And we'll move our call to action into there, move, and then we're just gonna rename it one. So that's call to action one. And then we're gonna make a new file, a new component. We're gonna call it two. So this will be our second version. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the code for this call to action in here. So I'm gonna go to Ad, uh, not advanced custom fields. I'm going to go to Tailwind UI, and this is the second version we want to do. The first version looks like this. First version, second version. So we're going to just copy the code. Paste that in there. And then we're just going to link up our properties like beforehand. So just bear with me, just quickly copy this. so slow at doing this. You don't realize how slow you are until you watch yourself back in a video. It's, it's quite shocking. It might just be me, you, you might be fine, but I am really slow. I normally, I normally fast forward with it, but I'm doing this as I go, so I can't. Okay, so save that. And now in our flexible component, I need to switch my brain on here for a second. We're gonna say, Yeah, we're going to put another if statement, but we're going to do it on the component. So just so if you're not familiar with Nuxt, um, the way the 
file structure and the, the uh, file name structure works structure I don't know if that's that's even explaining it well but basically that becomes cta one and you do it like oh one to reference that component and then to reference to can you guess yep cta2 you're very good okay But we'll put ifs on these. So we're going to say, we're going to look at the option. Um, so we're going to say v if equals da, 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 layout dot option equals one. We want to show this component. And if it equals two, we want to show this one. So hopefully I'll save that. Hopefully that's worked. I might need to refresh that. Let's go back to this. Okay, so it looks like it's working. So this is our first layout. And if we go to our homepage and we switch it to version two, update the page. And when that's done, I'm gonna refresh this. Hopefully it's a different layout. There you go. So it's different layout now. So it's working. So that's how I personally have different versions of components. Um, yeah. So in the next video, I want to look at how, what do I want to look at? How to style components. Um, so how we can use advanced custom fields to change the colors and well, basically change the colors, change the background colors, change the text color, change buttons, colors, all that fun stuff. When it, like the hover colors, all that stuff really. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you like the video, like it, um, leave a comment. I know in, in the last video I said, I don't care if you leave a comment, but I actually do really care. So please leave a comment. Please, I need this. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video.